Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, in response to questions from several people and uh, because I said I would talk about it, this video I want to talk about briefly why it is that I think Kerbal Space Program is so cool. I mean, it's not just that you get to design and build and fly your own rockets and you get cool explosions and stuff. I mean, explosions are great, but success is even better. And uh, here's the key about it. While Kerbal Space Program it does not quite model the physics involved 100% accurately, it uses, uh, from what I understand, a fairly simplified model of what's going on. It does model it. And this is something I've seen in the uh, Kerbal Space Program forums. It's one of the reasons, one of the biggest reasons that I think this is such a cool game. Because it makes people think. Not only does it make people think, it has inspired people to do something that very few, if any, games ever do. It has inspired people to learn the math behind what the program is doing. I mean, I have seen YouTube videos by kids in their teens that have actually studied and learned enough to be able to do a tutorial explaining the orbital mechanics and the math behind it. People are learning how to do things like calculate what angle you need to be at in refer in rel relative to your target and the body that you're orbiting to be able to achieve a successful Hellman transfer, for example, which is a minimum energy orbit uh, that changes altitudes, either increasing or decreasing, getting from one orbit to another. Uh, people are learning how to calculate how much delta V a rocket has, and that requires that you have to know the mass of the vehicle, the mass of the fuel, the specific impulse and thrust of the engine, and all of this stuff, and a lot more besides. I've seen people doing some really wild stuff involving some math that is so advanced that I can barely follow it at all. And, and as a matter of fact, I actually can't follow the math. I can follow the conversation, sort of, but I can't even begin to understand the math because they're getting out there with... Uh, all kinds of Greek symbols and stuff in the formulas that I don't recognize. I, I recognize them enough to know that they're Greek symbols used in math, but I don't know what they mean, and I don't know how to even read the formulas. But people are going to the extreme of learning this stuff to make their experience with this game better. And how many games have you ever heard of that can inspire someone to learn orbital mechanics? I mean, it's not exactly the cheapest, easiest subject to get people to be interested in. But Kerbal Space Program is doing it. Big time. And that, I think, makes it one hell of an awesome game. Because there's a thing in this world these days where most people have very little, if any, interest in science and technology and the understanding of how and why things work. Like, for example, with computers. Most people simply use them. They don't begin to understand how or why they work. They couldn't repair one if their life depended on it. They couldn't begin to tell you what's happening under the hood, so to speak, because they're not the least bit interested. It works, they use it, they point and click, that's it. That's the end of it. You show them a command prompt and they're going to freeze. That's the way most people are. And they, they not only don't understand or know about science and te te the science and technology behind why things work, they don't want to know. And the fact that this game is inspiring people to learn the how and why and the math of exactly how and why these things work and how to use the math to make it work to your advantage to make something actually 
work the way you want it to. That's awesome. That is fantastic. I've never heard of any other game that does that. Maybe there are some, but I haven't heard of them. And that's a good thing. That's a very good thing because we need more people in this world, in this day and age, that are interested in understanding the science and the math and the how and why of how things work and why they work. Because if we keep going with the current trend of fewer and fewer people understanding that, those who do are going to be pretty much able to run things because they're going to be the only ones that know how it works. And from one point of view that might be a good thing, but it's also a disaster waiting to happen. What if 90% of everybody that understands how things work was suddenly gone, dead, or whatever? The rest of the world would be up a creek without a paddle. And now in closing, uh, speaking of hows and whys, I understand some hows and whys about cars and uh, so on, enough to know that I really don't like working on cars because it's a dirty, nasty, hard thing and manufacturers go out of their way to make things difficult because they really want you to go to a, a dealer to have them service it. Anyway, I'm going to leave you today with the sound of my car starting for the first time in three days. It's a very ugly sound. I know there's something wrong. I have no idea what it is. The car has, you know, I keep it topped up on oil and transmission fluid, power steering fluid, and all the necessary stuff like that. And uh, it still, it makes this god-awful screech every time I start it. This is definitely a bad thing. And it's also a bad thing that I can't look at it and say, hey, I know this is what's wrong. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.